This video is sponsored by Cruiseman's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Cruiseman's Moto Vlog. Today I'm on my 2018 Honda Goldwing and I'm just getting ready to head home from having breakfast with Dale and Don here at Awake in Carrollton, Texas. Now some of you may remember Dale is the one that helped me out get the bike painted or the trunk I should say my new trunk painted and this is my first motovlog riding with the trunk the new trunk installed you can kind of see it there with the black spoiler it is so cool looking I love it I was able to get my laptop and my helmet in the bike no problem so I've got a lot of really cool stuff to share with you this morning regarding the trunk swap out and what Dale and I are up to today. But before I get into all of that, I would like to ask you a favor. If you like motorcycle content, if you're passionate about motorcycles, please take a second to click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So if you're wondering why Dale and I are riding together today, he's actually going to be following me back to my house where we're going to do another little swap out. If you remember on my 2018 Goldwing, I have the Honda luggage rack installed on the trunk lid and it also has the Pathfinder LED multifunction light underneath the luggage rack and Dale has always said he wished he had the luggage rack just so he could have that light underneath. Plus Dale does a lot of long distance touring and he could probably use the luggage rack uh, to put some a few extra things maybe a rain suit or whatever. So since he hooked me up on the paint job of my new trunk I told him that when I removed my old trunk, I would take the lid off and we would just swap out the lid on my trunk for his lid on his trunk because we both have a white gold wing. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go back to my place. We're going to take his trunk lid off and we're going to take the lid from my 2018 gold wing, which has the uh, Pathfinder LED multifunction light and the Honda luggage rack already installed and what I did is I went ahead and removed everything it's ready to go so all we have to do is take his lid off put my lid on and he's good to go so that's what we're up to today now as you can probably tell this is a pretty nice day we have clear skies it's about 60 62 degrees somewhere in that range and we've had some good weather the last couple of days and I think we're going to have some good weather for the next few days. So maybe I'll get a chance to do a little bit of riding with my new larger trunk. I can't wait to get it on a highway and do a little road trip with it because I just know it's going to make a difference. I think it's really, really uh, one of the best things I've added to this bike. And by the way, I should mention again if you haven't heard me say it already, if you are thinking about adding a larger trunk to your 2018 or 2019 Goldwing, or if you have a bagger and maybe you're thinking of adding a trunk to it, uh, I will have a video that goes into much more detail than what I'm doing on YouTube. I'm going to put a step-by-step -step instructional video together, but that's going to go on my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. I'm not going to put it on YouTube because it would be too long. It's not really that entertaining. It's more informational. So I think it's better that it lives there. But uh, I will show you some of the process in my YouTube videos. I've still got one or two more videos I want to do. I have a few little imperfections in this new paint job that I'm going to be correcting. Uh, a couple of little dirt nibs. Uh, if you're you know familiar with paint jobs that's not that uncommon that maybe a tiny little speck of dirt or dust will get on the paint before it dries and I'm going to go through the process of getting that out. Hopefully Dale can give me some tips on that. You may or may not know that Dale uh, was a paint and body guy you know his whole career and he was actually the uh, paint and body manager of one of the Lexus dealers here in town. So he really knows the business. He knows his stuff. He knows when it comes to paint, he knows exactly what he's doing. 
I should also point out that these little dirt nibs or imperfections are really uh, nitpicky. In other words, I don't think most people would even notice them if I just left them there. You have to really look for them, and you have to look for them under a certain type of light, like under an LED or fluorescent light. I don't even know about fluorescent, but certainly a bright LED. If you look at it, you have to get down and look at it at the right angle, and you can actually see these little dirt nibs. But, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I'm going to try to sand those out lightly and then... Uh, use my Griot's polisher to do some polishing. Uh, I may uh, add that content to the end of this video if you're interested in it. And uh, you can see just a little bit more of my uh, perfecting of the paint. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I still have to add the emblem for the Honda logo on the back of the trunk. And one of those little dirt nibs is right in the area where that emblem is going to be uh, attached and I thought it'd be better to go ahead and correct the paint first so that I don't run the risk of getting my buffer hung up on that little Honda logo so anyway that's kind of that story so I think what I'm going to go ahead and do now is end the motovlog version of this video and I'm going to get past this and take you into the part of the video where I actually start correcting the paint and we'll talk about that trunk and I'm also going to tell you something about the trunk that I removed for my 28 gold wing. So let's go to tomorrow. It's about 3.30 in the morning. I can't sleep so it is the next day. Here you can see those little dirt nibs I was talking about in the paint. Uh, there's one a little more toward the rear of the trunk lid. Okay, this is after I hit it with 1,500 and 3,000. And now I'm going to try to see if I can polish that out. This is just the first nib I've worked on. So I was able to get my dirt nibs out, or at least to my satisfaction, uh, you can still almost vaguely see. I know where they are, so I can find them. But they're, um, you would never notice them. You'd never see them. They're pretty vague. You can kind of see a little bit of one there where the lights are. But I'm not comfortable going any farther into this clear coat because I just, I'm, I'm not a professional. So I, I see other dirt nibs now that I wasn't seeing before that are worse than the ones I treated like that one right there. I didn't treat that one because they're so small. Yeah, now that I'm paying this close of attention to this, these panels, you can see the imperfections and the little dirt nibs and you could spend, you could spend a half a day getting these out. Now my challenge is getting this emblem centered on this trunk lid. And I am not sure how to do that. It uh, comes on this little, I've got it masked, masking tape down right now. It's on, it's a self-adhesive basically. And it comes on this little blue holder, which I think probably is telling me that it, it this blue edge here lines up with this body line to get you the correct height. But unfortunately, they didn't go all the way out to the end, so I don't, I have to center it left to right. And what I'm going to try is I'm going to try using a fabric like what a seamstress was, would use for measuring. Sorry, I've got some fingerprints on here. And I'm going to try to find the center point of this trunk lid to get as close as I can, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I, what I did was I closed the trunk and I tried to look straight down to see if that N in Honda, which is the center letter, H-O-N-D-A, I was looking to see if that N was lined up with the trailer hitch. Of course, I'm assuming the trailer hitch is directly in the center. So let me see if I can't measure left to right on this trunk lid it's hard because there's curves but i think i can get pretty close let me let me see if i can do that 
As I'm getting ready to measure this trunk lid, I will let you know that I did decide to go ahead and hit those dirt nibs again with some 1500 and 3000 grit sandpaper, and it made a huge difference. I was able to take them completely down without going all the way through the clear coat. So now let's get back to my measuring. Yeah, there's not really a good way to do this. It looks like it's about 13 and a quarter inches from this corner to this corner. But I'm eyeballing that. And uh, 13 and a quarter inches would be what? Six and three eighths? No. Half of a quarter is an eighth. But half of 13 is six and a half, so it'd be six and a half plus an eighth. So six and a half plus an eighth would be right here. And that would be the center, according to this. But that doesn't feel like the center. And it's really, you, you, you can kind of feel a center there, but <laughs> it's so vague. I think I did better eyeballing it than measuring it. Some of you body shop guys out there, you probably have a system for this. It's not like I have a laser measuring system where I can, where I could put that laser one here, one here, and then define what the center is. So I'm open to any suggestions. I'm not in a huge hurry to put on this emblem. I, I do want to get it on there because I think without it, without the emblem, it looks to me like a third-party trunk. It doesn't look like a Honda part, and I want it to look factory. So I actually, uh, they don't include this emblem with the trunk kit, believe it or not. So for $2,000, you still have to buy this, and that was like another $18 just for that chrome emblem that goes on here. I would like to get it as close to the center as possible. I mean, I want it to be, I'd love it to be perfect, but there is not a real hard to find center. You can feel, a, a, you know, there is a ridge there, a center line. The other thing I thought of was maybe somehow coming from the, the point of that Honda on the back of the seat rest and coming straight down from that, and that would give me a good center. <laughs> but boy, talk about if we assume that this trunk release button underneath, if we assume that that is in the center, I don't know if I get down to get the camera, I've got it on a tripod, I could maybe come from the center of that and come up. Now that might be an easier way to do because it'd be easy to find the center of that button and then come straight up and find the center on that trunk lid and then do it that way. Maybe that's the better system. So anyway, I'm open to suggestions if any of you have any ideas on a good way to find the center. Also, uh, yesterday Dale uh, came over on his gold wing and we swapped out my trunk lid for his. This is his trunk lid off of his 2018, which is in excellent condition. And I'm going to go ahead and mount this to my old shell from my 2018. See, I've got the, uh, the little mounting hardware here and all the hardware that goes with it. The reason I'm pointing that out is I'm going to remind you once again, if there's any of you in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I'm not going to ship this. But if anybody in the Dallas-Fort Worth area wants a complete trunk kit, and I've got a brand new subframe over there that came with my 2021 trunk kit, that I did not use because I didn't need it. It's brand new. I have all the parts, all the hardware. I am not going to install it. 
I'm not in the installation business. Okay, so don't, please don't ask. You can take it to a dealer and have it installed, or you can do it yourself. It's not that hard. I even have a video on how to do it, or I will have on my maintenance video series. By the time, you know, this is sold, you could go to my uh, maintenance videos and sh you'll see how to install it because it installs identically to pretty close to identical to the 2021. If anybody wants a trunk kit, maybe you have a bagger. If you have a bagger model and you want to add a trunk, uh, a removable trunk that you could add whatever. I have this trunk available complete kit from Honda. It's just under $2,000 for this piece here and the painted parts. Now I have the other painted parts that go to this out in my other garage right now. They're wrapped up. I don't have them out here. Another advantage is, <laughs> minor advantage, I guess, but mine are all ceramic coated. I did the ceramic coating, so they're already ceramic coated. Now, this piece is not because this was Dale's, but I will ceramic coat this so that whoever buys it, all the parts will be ceramic coated to match, and I'll clean everything up, have it all nice and clean. So if anybody's interested, I will make you a very good deal. You'll also be getting a heated backrest. Like I said, Honda sells this for just under $2,000 for both the painted parts and that. Now, unless you have a white bike, you're going to have to have it repainted. But if you had a white bagger model, you're ready to go. The pearl white. And I, I'm, I know this fits on a 2018 and a 2019. I'm not 100% sure about the 2020. They might have made a change in 2020. I'm not 100% sure because I've seen these trunk kits on the Honda website, and they all say 2018 and 2019 model. So I should emphasize, if you have a 2018 or a 2019, I'd feel comfortable with you because this came off of 2018. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching today. Uh, let me know in the comments. You know, If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next trunk swap video.